today's video, I'm going to basically be telling you how to beat the entire block shoes update 21. Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to locate the event, how to get every single accessory, the new weapon. As you guys can see, man, we do have the Kitsune mask. We also have the Kitsune ribbon the new weapon man we have pretty much everything that you do need so this video right here is pretty much going to be like the best video you could possibly watch on this update 21 event man so without that being said guys make sure that you guys do hit the like button and subscribe let's see if we can actually get 2,000 likes on this video and also we are trying to reach 200,000 subs so let's see if we can actually get to 174,000 subscribers man without that being said guys let's get straight into this video because this right here is going to be really crazy man already so i'm going to be breaking down every single step step by step man the first step is to actually be at tiki outpost okay you need to be at the new island this right here is like the start of where everything literally goes down man okay now once you're here at tiki outpost you're not just going to be at this island man you're going to want to like be at the back of it okay you're going to need to like face this way over here and this is very important because for some reason everything happens at this very side of the see man okay so just for the sake of this video i'm actually going to be using the miracle boat which is the fastest boat in the game however when you are doing this man to actually go to the event i recommend getting a boat that has the greatest amount of hp so i do recommend the guardian or whatever boat that has more hp than that but like i said for the sake of this video let's actually just take out the miracle boat and let's head straight to the destination that we do need to go to Alrighty, so you're just going to be leaving out the back of tiki outpost man straight through like between those two mountains rock thingies now make sure that you do track like that you are going the right way you don't want to have this number like decrease or like slowly go up it, it needs to be going up quickly that means that you're actually going the correct direction and try to keep your compass like straight downward okay so like this right here is going to be like the the white arrow you're going to want to have your arrow facing the exact opposite direction straight downward now i recommend going to sea level danger 5 before the sun actually does go fully down so once it's at like three out of four and then it finally hits to four out of four daytime before it hits nighttime on the full moon when it's just daytime okay you're going to need to actually be at sea level danger 5. now if you run into a terror shark make sure that you guys do have a squad that is actually strong enough to beat this thing because yeah man it's uh it's very annoying and i'm pretty sure i'm dead right now so goodness gracious okay so right before it's actually a full moon and when you're at sea level danger five guys and the sun is finally coming down and right before it does become a full moon man i do recommend doing something like this okay so i'm right at sea level danger six but if i go back you see it's at five right here so just traveling back and forth and basically do this basically until like it does reach full moon now you can actually be in sea level danger six right when it does uh, become a full moon and you'll still be able to find it but if you are in sea level danger five do not wait too long after it becomes a full moon because there is a chance that it actually just won't spawn like for some reason it just doesn't so if you are in sea level danger five and it just became a full moon take like at least like within like five to ten seconds and hurry up and get into sea level danger six now once you're finally in sea level danger six and it's a full moon within like the first probably like within like the first minute like no later than like one minute it will usually like appear now if it doesn't then there's like a really low chance that you would actually find it because usually it's pretty instant man like it doesn't take a long time like at all to find it and usually the six c danger zone is like within like 3500 meters away now this right here guys is actually a perfect example of what i mean as you can see guys we're actually on the sixth danger level and as we're selling right now the full moon is going to come out at any moment now as we're already in the sixth danger level and it's going to immediately activate the c event just look at this guys okay 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 i gotta make this quick nice okay okay come on come on okay where's the things where's the things where's the things come on Okay. 
All right, all right, here goes. And I got Kitsune Ribbon. Wait, Kitsune Ribbon? What is a Kitsune Ribbon? A mythical accessory. All right, everybody, after grinding, we ended up getting the Kitsune Ribbon. And do not worry about my face, bro. I don't know what is going on. But this wasn't the sword that I was hoping, man. But we did get the Kitsune Ribbon, even though I did want the sword. And we did manage to actually collect 20. Five, so 25 and we got the ribbon with 25 alrighty come on we got 13 seconds left all right let's just hurry up and go over here because i don't know man i don't trust i don't trust this host like he was kind of sketchy so let me just hurry up and redeem it now please weapon wait no yo i knew bro i knew he was going to disconnect it bro i knew he was going to disconnect it i swear bro i knew it i knew that guy was sketch Alrighty, let's see oh yo we ended up getting the fox lamp man we ended up getting the fox lamp okay i was wondering why it said that my midnight blade was stored so when you get the fox lamp it like automatically stores the weapon you already have okay interesting Yo, we got it like just in time because he was like kicking everybody from the server, man. Just because I guess he didn't get something good. So that was crazy, bro. Luckily, we redeemed it like at around like five seconds or something like that. Finally, we ended up getting something good because it took me like literally like I think eight to nine times of beating the event just to finally get this weapon, man. Or just to get everything pretty much. Now I'm going to be giving you the breakdown of the most greatest fruits that you can possibly use when collecting desert embers because you do have to be as quick as possible to collect as much as you possibly can. The number one fruit that I do recommend that you must have, which is possibly the fastest fruit in the game, is going to be the Kitsune. Now of course I don't have it yet, which don't worry because I am going to get it and that might just be my next video. I'm probably going to be trading a permanent Kitsune, so do watch out for that video, man. But second to best, I do have to say is going to be ice. Ice, guys, is actually like probably the, one of the greatest fruits to use to actually get the dessert embers. Like it is absolutely perfect, man. That is the fruit I've been using all of this time to get the dessert embers. So make sure that you do use ice if you do not have Kitsune. Now for third, I have it either between the human fruit or the leopard fruit i have it in between one of those two fruits man and both of those fruits is actually really good as well to use to get the azure embers but usually i just go with leopard if i'm not using ice for the most part but now guys i'm going to be showing you the stats for every accessory that has been given to us inside of this event update number one i do have the kitsune on my face so let's see the stats all right so for the kitsune mask it gives you 10% more damage on the blast fruit's attacks, 2 extra instinct dodges, 15% increased passive regen on fruit meters, 50% enhanced vision in dark sea, and 750 health. That right there bro is actually pretty broken. Now this right here is not the only accessory that we did get. We also did get the Kitsune ribbon and oh my gosh bro my character is bald. Don't even look at me, don't even look at me. But let's see the kitsune ribbon stats man and let's see which one's actually better okay so this accessory grants you 10 percent defense against blast fruits attacks 15 percent increased health regen 30 percent faster run speed plus seven dash distance 25 percent cooldown reduction on flash step and 2500 energy okay i don't know man that's a hard one let me know guys which accessory does have the better stats i, I actually like i don't know like they're both actually really good. And not only that, guys, we also do have the Fox Lamp, which I only have one attack so far for it. I'm, I'm trying to max it out, man. It's pretty tough. But if you guys do want a Fox Lamp showcase, I could definitely do that. So let me know down below in the comment section, which one do you guys want to see? Me trading permanent Kitsune or me showcasing the Fox Lamp? Like, which one do you guys want, man? But that right there, guys, is going to be the quickest way to possibly beat the entire update 21. But hopefully that you guys did enjoy this video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe. It's been your boy K, and I am out, guys. Roll to 200,000 subs, and peace out, guys, man. Peace out, bro. Peace out, guys, bro.